Hey everybody, welcome to Zephyr's Travels. Come on in, we've got some projects we want you to show you. Come on along. Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to take on some of the projects that we've been thinking about while we're in the stay at home mode and not traveling. So one of the things that I've always wanted to do is upgrade the faucets in the trailer. Now there's really nothing wrong with the faucets that Airstream give you. These are really nice faucets. I think they're made by Delta. I'm not positive but I think they are. Um, they're good quality and they work fine. But we want to put something in that's a little bit more our taste, so a little bit more contemporary looking. We're going to replace the one here in the kitchen. And we are also going to replace the one, the bathroom faucet too. Replace that with a newer one. While we're doing this, I'm also going to take a look at cleaning up some of the plumbing underneath there. And what I mean by that is inside there, they actually have some additional plumbing input in place where... You could put in a inline filter, uh, carbon filter for your cold water. And they gave you a filter when you bought the Airstream. Um, but it's not a, a very easily found filter. It's not one that you can just go pick up. And we typically just filter all the incoming water on our water hose with a carbon filter. So we've never really used it. It kind of takes up a little bit of room inside the cabinet and it makes the cabinet a little less usable. I'm going to remove all of that um, and then move the cold water valve farther back so it's more back here in the back of the cabinet out of the way. So let's first just take a look at all the bits and pieces we need to do this. They're over here on the table so let's take a look. So on this table here are all the bits and pieces we need to install this faucet project. So this is the kitchen faucet. It's a growy uh, faucet. It's actually the same model that Airstream uses in their international series. Um, we picked this up on Amazon. It has a sprayer built right into it, which I think is nice. And it should fit right in very easily. We have the trim piece here that will install over the holes in the counter because Airstream pre-drills the countertop with three holes and we only gonna need one. So we're used just to hide the other ones. For the bathroom, we have a matching Grory faucet and this is a straightforward bathroom faucet. Very nice looking, very contemporary design. And we also have the trim piece for the bathroom faucet because the holes are pre-drilled in that countertop too. For tools, shouldn't need too much. You're gonna need a 11 16th wrench, a half inch wrench. These, this will do the hoses. This will do the mounting to the faucets. A pair of pliers, just in case. Now, to, I mentioned we're gonna do some plumbing cleanup, and so to do that, we need some PEX tools. And so we're gonna need the following. We're gonna need, this is a PEX crimper, and this is a PEX cutter. So we picked up both of these at Home Depot. Um, they're a little pricey if you're not gonna be doing this very often. I mean, this is a $45 tool, this is a $10 tool. This I think I'll get more use out of than this one. But I have some ideas for some additional plumbing upgrades to this trailer that I think I'll get the use out of this. So I figured it was worth getting. Pretty much everything we need for tools. So I guess it's time to take a look underneath the cupboard and get started. So let's head over there. I'll tell you one of the things about replacing the faucet, it's the same as it working at your home. It's really not that hard to do, but getting access to everything is can be difficult. And you know, typically these faucets are all installed 
when the cap before the countertop is put in place, it's stalled on the countertop and then dropped into place. So access to all this stuff is usually a lot easier for the, with the installers. But when you're trying to retrofit it, it's usually a pain in the neck because you got to get behind everything. So we're going to do the best we can here and figure it out and try to show you as much of it as I can. If I can't show you it all, then we will definitely uh, catch you up once we get it out. Underneath the cabinet here, underneath the kitchen sink, and we're going to take a look at what we need to do. If you notice right here on this wall, this is the additional plumbing I was talking about that I want to remove. As you can see right up here, right there, there's a threaded piece that holds the faucet in place. And here, these lines back here are for your hot and cold. So it's basically just connecting the hot and cold, disconnecting this line here for the sprayer, and then unbolting it above. So let's get started. It just should be fun. One thing I'm doing is to give me some visibility. I've uh, connected my action camera to my phone and so now I can use my phone to actually see up in there easier as I work on it. Now if you were doing this um, and you are connected to water you definitely want to make sure your water is unhooked before you get started and you want to make sure that you know you release all any pressure turn off your water pump Right here, I've disconnected the line for the sprayer. It was just a little button here to push and it popped right out. Up here, we've got to remove, trying to get a good look at what that is. So it looks like there's a ring with some set screws in it that hold that in place. Not quite what I expected, but Got it out. There we go. Looks good. Got it out. All right, so, so the next step here is we're going to clean up some of this plumbing down here. So we've got this extra length of pipe here that was put in for the water filter that we don't use. I'm going to cut it off behind it, and then I'm going to reinstall the shutoff valve that was on the other section of that pipe. And so we will do that, Then that will open up this whole area here. I can take these brackets out of the way. And it just kind of cleans up the inside of the cabinet a little bit. We'll put on the compression ring. Slip the valve on. Slide the compression ring up. Right, so I can get the compression tool on. Which is this beast. Hopefully there's room that I can get this in there and work it. Okay, it's done. Let's see what we 
release the tool. That's good. There. There, now the, if you can see the valve is on the end there, and there's the hot water line. So we're good to go there. So the next step will be to drop the faucet in, secure it, and then attach all the water lines. So we will move cameras around and do that next. And now we can feed all our lines into this. There we go. Looks pretty good. Now we gotta go underneath and attach it. We got a couple pieces of hardware. We've got this piece here, which I believe just slides up on there and compresses it to the countertop. We have this piece here, which threads, slides in there and works like a washer. And then we have the nut here. So we'll slide all those in place and tighten it down. Again, this is going to be difficult to film because it's in a tight quarters, but I will try to run the GoPro camera underneath there as best I can, but my hands will probably be in the way, so you might not see much. Okay, so I've got the washer piece on, and so now i got to put this nut in there somehow. Next, I want to use a 11 16 wrench. I got a ratcheting wrench, I think will work nice. And we need to tighten it down. I think I have that pretty good. Now I'll connect my water lines. They need to be, they don't have to be over tightened. There's just, there's an O-ring in them that will seal, but you need to get them just snug enough to do that. There. Now for the relocated hold. Now this is the main water line and it has this quick connect type fitting on it so this just gets hand tight and then it connects right onto the bottom of the faucet. There's also another piece we, need sh we should put in at this point. And that is this counterweight. What this is supposed to do is you attach it to, this is kind of what you attach it to the water line and when you pull out the faucet, this weight will pull the hose back in. So you want to put it in a place somewhere towards the middle. You want to leave enough of this line to come out to do what you need to do with the faucet, but at the same point, this is also your stopper for that. So how much you pull out, and then it will pull it back down. So I think I'm gonna put it right around here. May need to come back at some point and adjust this, we'll find out. Thank you. 
Well, now that you're done hooking everything up, you can stand back and check out your handiwork. You've got a nice new faucet in place here with a retractable sprayer, single lever control. Looks nice, much more contemporary than the original. In the bathroom, we have the matching uh, bathroom faucet. Now, I didn't go through all the steps on uh, installing that. They're basically the same as it was for the kitchen. Um, the angles in there weren't as good to video, so you wouldn't be able to see anything anyways. But as you can see, this is a really nice looking faucet in its, itself, and it does sit a little taller from the sink and gives you a little bit more area to wash your hands and such. Well, now the real test is to go get Diane and have her check it all out and get her, see what she thinks. So I'm gonna go grab her next. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, very nice. Now you try pulling it out. And the button switches from spray to stream or whatever. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. well, that's easy. Yep, I'm gonna check the bathroom out. Mm, yeah. Much better than the other ones. Now I know hot and cold. Yeah, hopefully I have them hooked up right. Yeah. Really. Looks good. So these are our first uh, projects done. Yep, yeah. they turned out very well. Yep, and so let me know if you guys are doing any projects on your uh, RVs while you're waiting for uh, to get back to uh, camping, and you know, put you know, leave us a comment below and, and let us know what you're working on, and we'd love to hear about that and see what maybe you can give us some ideas of something else we want to do next. Right what you've done to your RV that you felt improved it. Yep. Well, until the next video. We will see you down the road, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get down the road soon. And uh, if you haven't done so already, you know, make sure to subscribe to the channel and, and do what to that bell? Ring the bell. Ring the bell, that's right. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And leave a comment if you want to see more videos like this. We like to, we like to know what you like and what you don't like. And we'll see you down the road, guys. Okay. That's it. Bye. Until later. Yep.